Hello YouTube! You probably all know this already, but I almost always buy my music in physical CD form and then rip it into FLAC format. I'll probably go into exactly why in another video, but in short, having an uncompressed library on my PC, which I can then convert to other formats as required, is very nice. But there is the odd occasion when I can't find what I'm looking for on CD and instead need to download a FLAC version of it in the meantime. Problem is that many FLAC uploads of rare music tend to just be MP3s transcoded to FLAC, which is really of no help to anyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to spot a fake FLAC or WAV file. You'll be needing a free application called Spectro, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Anyways, here we have a folder containing several fake FLAC encodes of a particular track, along with the real FLAC version. Each variant was created using an MP3 of a different constant bitrate, so we have 128k, 192k, 256k, and 320k. First, let's open up the real FLAC version in Spectro. So here you can see a graph which shows you which parts of the spectrum are most populated by this particular piece, but the relevant part to us right now is the 22kHz mark up here. If we head up here to Options and click Show Frequency Cutoff, you can see that this track takes up the full 22.1kHz range and doesn't cut off anywhere. With that in mind, we'll go open up another instance of Spectro, but this time we'll use it to open the fake FLAC which came from the 320k MP3. With the fake 320k MP3 FLAC, you'll see that the spectrum cuts off at about 20.3kHz, and that approximate cutoff point is true for just about every 320k constant bitrate MP3. Here I've opened up every fake FLAC at the same time, so you should get an idea of which cutoff point is typical of each bitrate. Now seeing a frequency rollover below 22kHz is not always indicative of a fake FLAC. Depending on the kind of music and the quality of the recording, that part of the spectrum might not actually be populated at all, but in the vast majority of cases of music with acoustic elements, a sudden cutoff is a dead giveaway. Well, I hope this video helped you out, and if so, please do give me a like. Until next time, live long and prosper, and El Sai Kangru.